Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to part, <clears throat> I want to say, yeah, I want to say four. And welcome to the Zinnerman and King Aqua show. I am your host, Zim, and today I'm bringing you Scarlet Nessus part four. Uh, so... <clears throat> There's a lot of people of you that have been asking me about how this game functions and what my opinions are on it and etc etc. Uh, well first off, I'm a huge fan. Right off the bat, I'm a huge fan. Uh, second thing is, is the story um, kind of makes sense a little bit. Um, it's um, it's an interesting thing, so. Um, I will be doing, uh, after I complete his episode, I will do part two of, actually, season one is gonna be with Yurito, uh, and then Randall is gonna be the season two of this game. Um, but everybody wants me to do uh, him first uh, before I do uh, Randall <clears throat> so I hope you guys are enjoying and uh, we will see how this will go um, so as you can probably already tell uh, later on we did a um, you know so anyways, I'm just going to hop into it. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying. And uh, we are on to the next phase of the game. So I hope you enjoy because this is the next progress phase. And we're going to continue from there and go from there. So I guess I should take a break. Yurito, wake up! What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad... We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. Uh. Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brain field really is powerful. But you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? 
Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. And that's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Yuito? What happened? Why did you stop? <laughs> what? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru. Is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, you'll be looked at right away. Interesting. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait. That's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaraki's March of Victory. 
Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? And you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because... Well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is. But people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Cynet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The Underground Road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Mokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No, because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah, he was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. 
Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. Sorry I'm not talking much, ladies and gentlemen. Just kind of enjoying the game, so... So I hope you guys are enjoying. Sorry I'm not speaking much. Okay, this so is this is the cool. old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember much about it. There was nothing left of Vokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If very this building is still being used, gentlemen. maybe so they cleaned it up on purpose. Kind of a nice story to actually listen to, huh. so. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right, uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. The old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsugumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. There's so much I want to ask you. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Okay. Oh. Man, this hospital. I'm more afraid of ghosts showing up than others. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. But if they do exist, they'd be here. Oh, if I see a ghost, I'll let you know. Thanks, Nobby.
My power is difficult to use, but it is useful. According to the records, the big attack on Lokusho was 11 years ago. That was when the old OSF hospital was abandoned and the new facility moved to sewer. <laughs> Along with all of the patients and equipment, if we trust the government announcement. Come on! Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it!
This doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... <sighs> there he is! Nagi! <sighs> Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Leave! You can't stay here! What? What's gotten into... If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me! So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? 
Nagi? What's that? An alarm? More others! They must have been watching us. I'll take care of this. Get out of here! No, I'll fight too! I said no! There's no telling when I might snap and try to kill you guys again. Just like with Captain Seto. I can't let that happen. I'm begging you, get out of here! Then at least come with us. I can't. I just told you I could snap and turn on you any second. I'll find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse, they'll skip that and turn you into an other. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Luca, why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. This is the only place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following your orders since you're the leader. But this place is far more dangerous than we imagined. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Keep an eye out for others while we move. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. Go, Yuito! Yeah! <laughs> 
Yurito, we have to get out of here. I know. Luca was right. But I just wonder if Nagi's okay. Yurito. Let me borrow this! <laughs> Everyone okay? You guys good?
Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. My memories... Can I even trust my own memories? Huh? Watch out! Above you! Yuito! <laughs> looking farther out. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly... Others are coming this way. Let's take them on.
everyone okay? to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Wataru, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? There you are. Major General Fubuki! Everyone, come with me. We'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of Lokusho City. Um, where are we? Is this a safe zone? Safe zone? What is that? A blind spot in New Himuka's surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing. You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you. But Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. 
I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Uh, I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into an other? Naki said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out and patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. Source reading is close. Should we get it? Okay, so this place is too exposed. 
We should go somewhere more private. You're on patrol, so make sure you take out those others. Some help, Luca! something rare. A lot of others up ahead, so I don't think we have time to talk. Oh. <clears throat> this area should be safe enough so to talk. So far, I'm interested. 
Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fabuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fabuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about New Himuka's personality oh, rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But I hope since it gets we're legally unable to refuse. <clears throat> hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo <clears throat> in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. Then does my brother know about it too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Damn, where are you? I need your help. If you dare try me through you, I'll do everything to stop you. Get out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? Stop! Why? Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give our own. I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. Why? We should defeat them one by one. Let's nullify the other two, and then Kasane. <laughs> Careful, everyone! 
Kills. I can still fight. Go, Go Muto. Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into that's another? That's awesome, dude. So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. Ta I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. She hot as fuck, though. I ain't gonna lie. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry, recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. Cool.
So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain, gained the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. So, I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on. The government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run yeah, from the government true. won't survive. The government does like to Please. take things There's in ordinary Ron. situations. Yes. Worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently. I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It... kinda scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it. Unless your condition significantly <clears throat> worsens. You're right. Yeah, that's I'll true. I'll do that. Hey, do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes. You're right. Kaito, were you aware of New Himuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it. The only one that was left in the dark was me. Only me. <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, phase five is over. I'm sorry, Yuito. You're the commander. I shouldn't have interfered. No, you're always so level-headed and helpful. Don't be afraid to tell me what you think. Understood. Oh, was that in order? Gemma. Want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Ah, oh, this guy. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends, but maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? The youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? It was more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun <laughs> solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you some enjoyed of, it. Some of these cutscenes just have Which like means so you did much, it. man. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. 
To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. Alright, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. That's so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people, after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant's special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these ten sauces. Enjoy! What is, what is this? Green, yellow, red, black? Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> Seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it. But I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird. But you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was yeah, too weary true. because they seem strange. Glad you got to try delicious. different things. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good does age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Mmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me. But please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him. But I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. Huh. All right. Well, that was cool. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once, too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it. I think I'm beginning to learn who you are as a person. I feel like I've learned about you, too. The country is turning people into others. And my father and brother are in on it, too. I do Luca, can I ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh, you mean former Major General Karin? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Ah, 
About me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother, so I don't usually talk about myself. Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse, most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin, but he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better than your brother, is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no match for my brother. In a lot of ways. Huh? So, you wanted to know about me. What exactly did you have in mind? Yeah, right. Uh... What are your hobbies? <laughs> this is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think... He doesn't look like he works out. What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh... Yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. Good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, You'll be ripped in six months. Huh? Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. Melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, I'll let you know later. Come to me anytime. Damn, Kasane, what is she even thinking? Ever since I met her, she's been hard to figure out. It's also weird that she looks like the person who saved me when I was young. Even talking to her face to face, it kind of feels like we're not on the same page. But she doesn't seem like she'd kill someone for no reason. I can't be sure, but I feel like she wouldn't. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, I just have to figure out the truth on my own. So both Nagi and Naomi were hurt by the...
Oh, there you are. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. I hate killing time by myself. So you said you wanted to talk about Sugumi. Did something happen with her? Oh, nothing like that. I'm just a bit concerned. I mean, that girl is kind of difficult for most people. What do you mean, difficult? She doesn't talk a lot, unlike me. And it takes her time to warm up to other people. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty quiet. I've known Sugumi for quite a long time, and we get along just fine. I just worry whether she's getting along with everyone else. And now she's away from me in a new team. So I'm losing sleep worrying that she might be getting left out. We wouldn't do that. I'm sure she's getting along fine with everyone. Oh. Well, if Mr. Straight as an Arrow Yuito says it, I guess I can trust you. I kind of get the sense that he's making fun of me. She's not like me. She's a good girl. So you take care of her. I'm counting on you, seriously. Don't worry. You can count on me. Well, that was kind of unexpected. I never saw him as the type to worry about other people. Sure, he's a joker, but he's actually pretty kind. That being said, I should probably ask him about it. Yeah, I think that might be best. Hey, Kagro, I have something I want to ask you. Is that okay? It's about my father, actually. Hmm? Yeah, what do you want to know? Well, you see, the world thinks Kasane killed him, and I saw Kasane holding a knife. But I still can't get myself to come to terms with it. Do you know what actually happened? Sorry, but I can't say anything. Maybe I will someday, but not now. Please, he was my father. Well then, let's say Kasane did do it. I'm sure she would have had a good, valid reason for doing so. Fine, but I want to know that reason. And then what? What are you gonna do? It's not something you can forgive just because you know why. Well, yeah, but... Let's just forget all that for now. Why don't we talk about something nicer? Something nicer? He's just trying to change the subject. But I know he knows something. Anyway, let me be straight. Are there any girls in the OSF you like? Anyone that you've had your eye on? What? Where did that come from? Don't be shy. Tell old Kagero how you really feel. Your childhood friend Hanabi, or the cool Kasane. Are you all about a cute face? Or could it be the magnanimous Kyoka? Huh? No, I mean, I never... Um, I guess I never really thought about it. Okay, hold up. So you're serious? You're not just being shy? Life can be really boring without a little desire, Damn. kid. This guy got on to point, what about though, you? man. You did seem pretty interested in Sugumi. D -d don't be an idiot. I don't think of Sugumi like that. She and I are best friends. We understand each other. What we have is a connection of the souls. It's deeper than just a man and a woman. So you're almost like family. I understand that kind of thing better than talking about what my type is. You really are lame and boring. If you don't loosen up, you might just end up suffocating yourself. Well, I've never really had any problems before. All right, I got it. Sir Kagero will teach you how to have some real fun. Uh, no, I'm fine. I am a very strict teacher. It's probably best you bring an energy drink next time we meet. See ya! But I said I didn't want to. Right when I was beginning to think he might take things seriously, turns out he really is just a joker.
I've been thinking about this too much. My brain is going numb. I should get some rest. Yuito, wake up! Wachiru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, what's up? Is the fact that we snuck into the old OSF hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunan Highway. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunan Highway. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? The government is calling it the Kunad Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunad Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was... unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this, so I think it's best to comply. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki, how did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started... monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog. But I don't have to be a dog anymore, now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The top brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality rehabilitation for some time now. That's why I took on the role of being the government's puppet. Directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. Besides, even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Seiron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this and free this country from its corrupt system. Karin joined forces with Seiron and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahobaki. Please. Let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Gemma! 
Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. What? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru. There's a resource. There's a chance that Seiron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late? I'm... staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible, and if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Hold on. Incoming others from the front. Hanabi, Tsugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the other. Yeah, you're right. Understand. Next. <laughs> Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Another one! 
Are there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. Yuito, are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki, and then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others, so we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging, and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening, so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion, like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Are you really okay? Snakebow. Ginger. Huh? What? Flaxpig. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child! I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. What can we do? We have the medication the hospital provided. But that ampule seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. The timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! My head! my power at all. I won't even be able to fight. What can we do? Is there some way to cure him? Do I... drink it? Yuito! <laughs> no time to be squeamish. Others gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to. <laughs> Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh, the abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. Yuito! I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. I can do this. 
Picking up any abnormalities on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after all. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? Shouldn't we go back to the hideout and rest a little bit? I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Here we go! 
And ladies and gentlemen, we are about to end it right here uh, once I hit this save checkpoint. But um, like if you'd like to continue to this story, stay tuned in the next um, 30 minutes to an hour. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So, I have been Zim. King would be here experiencing this, but uh, I understand he's got some sleep and some other stuff that he's got to do. So he's going to be busy for a while. And as always, stay sexy and stay classy, San Andreas, and we will see you next time in the next Scarlet Nessus video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So this has been part three? Yeah, this has been part, I think three or four, I'm not sure. But um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time in the next Scarlet Nessus video. Have a good day, guys.